Howdy champs! My name is Mohit and people today we're gonna learn how to uh, animate a page scroll using jQuery. It's super easy guys um, once you have the requisite uh, JavaScript files uh, jQuery files is super easy trust me on that. Um, let me straight away show you a published preview which is out here. Okay there are two um, links out here uh, that I've created using the anchor tags uh, the first link is Dreamweaver, the second link is Flash. Now, in my last tutorial, I talked about anchor tags, named anchors. Uh, name, I talked about named anchors. And what named anchors do is when you click on the link, let's say Dreamweaver, it would straight away take you to that section of the page. It creates internal links within the same page or within the same website. Uh, and it jumps to that section uh, instantly. But uh, when I say I will, I'm going to teach you how to do the scrolling using uh, jQuery, it's going to animate smoothly and nicely. Okay, let's have a look. Now, when I click on Dreamweaver, you can actually see that it jumps to the Dreamweaver section, the section that actually talks about Dreamweaver. I've used some dummy text out here. Uh, I've used uh, a text filler. But uh, in your case, uh, you'd be using some real text. I've used some dummy text out here okay and similarly when somebody let's say clicks on this uh, flash link right it smoothly you know goes down All right and uh, that is how we gonna uh, you know we, we're gonna animate using jQuery alright so uh, let's have a look how this was actually done Okay, I have the whole document ready, guys. I have the whole uh, layout ready in front of you. I'm not going to do it all over again. I'm just going to teach you how to do it. It's uh, very, very simple. For people who know what named anchors in Dreamweaver are, uh, should be a cakewalk for them. Okay, now uh, we need two uh, jQuery files. The good news is uh, they are available as a free download from my website. Uh, qualitylessons.net forward slash downloads one okay and the name of the the, the jquery uh, of javascript files are uh, animate.js and jquery.min min is minified version of the jquery file now this file uh, everybody can easily grab from jquery.com all right or you can skip that step and uh, straight away get these two files from uh, my website http colon forward slash forward slash quality lessons dot net forward slash downloads one number one that is cool now let's look at uh, how this was actually achieved let's look at the head and body of the uh, html document i've called this uh, document named anchors dot html because it actually uses named anchors uh, but since it also uses uh, javascript jQuery uh, it's pretty smooth as well all right so uh, as I said uh, there are two JavaScript files that we are linking up like so they are kept externally so I'm actually linking up to them using the script tag immediately after the meta tag I'm using HTML5 doc type people so uh, you have the opening script tag, the closing script tag, the type attribute and the source is uh, linking to the actual uh, jQuery file, jQuery minified version, jQuery.min.js and uh, as I said earlier you can easily grab it from jQuery.com right uh, there's another uh, JS file, file that I have named animate.js again can be downloaded from my website uh, which we are not going to talk about a lot. This is the file that I'm talking about. I'm not going to go into the detail of uh, how this course code was written, what it actually means, except that I'm going to show you how to change the time. And this is the place where you're going to change the time, uh, the animation time. It's uh, actually set to uh, milliseconds, 500 milliseconds. You can just alter this figure and uh, the scrolling speed would automatically change. That's all that I'm going to show you out today. Uh, I'm not going to take you into the detail of what this actually means. But as I told you earlier, you can easily grab it from my website. Now, let's come go back to the HTML document. Okay, so I'm linking uh, with these two uh, JS files out here. Then we have the title tag, the 
head of the document closes out here the body of the document actually starts out here <coughs> okay now notice I have an anchor tag out here opening closing anchor tag that has an href attribute uh, which is then uh, pointing to pound sign anchor one and pound sign anchor two these were the links that I was clicking okay I placed opening closing h1 uh, elements out here they are not necessary people it could be h3 h5 or it just uh, it's okay even if you don't place it out there all right uh, that's just for the uh, aesthetics you don't really need the h1 but you actually need the uh, anchor tags with the href attributes pointing to something and that something could be anchor one could be a one could be q one you decide the name you decide the name right okay and then what you need to do is let's say I would want to link this anchor tag with a section now I need to go to the section which is uh, down out here I need to place another opening anchor tag this time the ID should point to anchor one the same name that I'd given earlier which was out here only if you do this are you gonna link this word dream beaver with the dream beaver paragraph or the dream beaver section the section that talks about dream beaver so just have an opening anchor tag uh, obviously there will be a closing anchor tag which is surrounded by the p tags or encapsulated by the p tags again those p tags are could be uh, any other element could be uh, mm, h3 tags or h4 tags or just it's okay even if, if you don't want to use them right could be a kbd could be a code could be anything but what's important is that you should use the anchor tag and the same uh, name that you use for href except that there we had used the hash of the pound sign here we are using id is equal to so and so well once you do that this word dreamweaver if clicked will scroll down to this part of your web page similarly uh, once somebody clicks on the word flash since it is surrounded by anchor tags which has the href attribute uh, which is made equal to pound sign hash uh, sign anchor 2 and I've linked it up to another paragraph which talks about the software flash and it jumps to this place on the web page once clicked and uh, the, trick, the trick is very simple um, I have the uh, the name attribute set to in fact I don't even need the name attribute I just need the ID uh, set to anchor 2 if you remember the href was set to anchor 2 uh, just remove the href uh, replace it with an ID set it to anchor 2 now the word flash is linked to this paragraph alright it's that simple and right here at the end the anchor tag closes right so it's that simple people okay just have a couple of anchor tags going in one you place the href attribute and in the other you place the ID but where you place the ID you don't need to place the hash sign alright so and uh, just as I said you need to uh, connect to uh, jQuery files so JavaScript files which are actually placed externally this is my local site folder the animate.js uh, JavaScript file and the jQuery.minified JavaScript file are actually placed uh, right next to the HTML document so the uh, the whole setup is so very simple people so before I terminate the tuto tutorial let's take up a preview once again after saving the changes obviously so when I click on Dreamweaver, uh, see the smooth scrolling, and once I click on Flash, uh, see the smooth scrolling as well. Okay. Uh, in fact, we don't get to see the uh, images because I've accidentally moved the images folder out, 
which I can easily fix. Give me a sec. <laughs> Let me move it back in. Okay, and let's uh, refresh the page. Right, so everything is fine now. Right, so people, uh, it's that simple to have a animating scrolling web page which uses the anchor tags and a little bit of uh, jQuery. All right, so people, I hope you found this stuff useful, and I also hope that you you will keep coming back to my tutorials. You have a good day, but guys, uh, and yes, uh, once again both DJS files along with the HTML uh, document is available as a free download from my website uh, HTTP colon forward slash forward slash quality lessons dot net forward slash downloads one number one that is uh, you have a good day bye bye peace